Hey everyone. I've been getting requests from some viewers to make a video about breeding tetras using a spawning mop instead of a breeding box. I've never tried this method before, so I'm interested in giving it a shot. Let's start by making two spawning mops. Because I've been having issues breeding with tap water recently, I'm planning to use water from a nearby stream this time. That way, I won't need to remove the chlorine. And I can use it directly for breeding. After leaving the spawning mop for about two days, I thought it should have sunk already. So I removed the stone. However, I found that it didn't work, maybe because of the container. So, I had to put the stone back in. The temperature is still very low, less than 20 degrees Celsius. So I'll raise the temperature first and then put the fish in. By 12.30 am, the temperature was about right. I only caught two females and three males. I went to check on the spawning situation the next day at 1.30 in the afternoon. But unfortunately, there was no spawning. I felt like putting this small container, and there was a bit unnecessary. Also, I'm worried that without an isolation box, the fish eggs might have been eaten by the parent fish. So, I ended up catching all of them back. Second time trying. I originally wanted to put the isolation box in and then put the spawning mop inside the isolation box but that went against the theme of the video. So I just removed the container. We found that the spawning mop could sink to the bottom of the water smoothly now. The spawning mop has a lot of bubbles, attached to it, which is quite annoying to look at. Even though I know they will disappear in a few days, I don't think it will affect the breeding, so I won't wait for them. My assumption at the time was that they would lay their eggs inside, or at the bottom of the spawning mop. The next morning, I didn't find any eggs. Actually, I'm very confident about the breeding of Ember Tetra. What I'm most worried about is that they might have already spawned, but ate their own eggs. I still think that just putting in the spawning mop isn't an effective way to protect the fish eggs. I went to check again in the evening of the same day. 
but still no eggs. On the third morning, I found eggs. However, there were no eggs in the spawning mop. Instead, they laid their eggs in the open space to the left and under the heater. I saw that there were only a few eggs in the open space. While the majority were concentrated under the heater, Obviously, they had eaten a lot of the eggs in the open space. In the end, I only collected a dozen fertilized eggs. And only a few of them successfully hatched. That was my first attempt at breeding with a spawning mop. Perhaps the spawning mop is more suitable for timid fish, like cardinal tetra or green neon tetra. If I put the spawning mop in an isolation box to breed cardinal tetras, it might yield better results.